what the dilly. What up, everybody? Everybody, sorry for my mess in the background. You know, it's my workshop. Waiting for the kick squad to join us. We are here for the live cop Jordan 13, Red Flints, GT from AG. Are you still there? See you commented a moment ago. Let me know if you're still there, brother. Waiting for the squad to get in. Wizard Magic, what up, man? Much love, bro. Appreciate that post yesterday, man. Busy with the dilly. What's going on? Man, almost missed this one. <laughs> My kicks text me. He's like, Hey, Fresh, you're still going live? And like my phone is on Do Not Disturb before seven o'clock. And uh and it was like seven, seven twenty-four or something like that. My phone goes ding and it woke me up. <laughs> I looked over and it was it was uh my kicks. I was like, oh snap. <laughs> He's like, you still going live? I was like, yeah, let me get up and get my life together real quick. So <laughs> I had to get up and uh, I hadn't done anything. I hadn't created a, a thumbnail, no nothing. I had to get up and like make it happen. So here I am. Um, I have no coffee myself. You know, what up, BX? You know, I have no coffee myself. My eyes are still like. <laughs> Rare from being asleep. Yeah, I don't know where I did my water. I had some water a moment ago. I don't know what I did with it. I'm just a mess this morning, but you know, it's all good. I'm here with y'all. You know, who going for the flints, man? Anybody in here going for them? GT, what up, man? Let me know, y'all. Y'all going for the flints this morning? Let's see where my squad at. I know I said this before, but I need that Skittles. <laughs> when are you going on vacation, man? I mean, I got, I got, like I said, I got four different colors of the fresh T-shirt right now. Um, no other colors just yet. I'm working on that, but um, but yeah, Wizard Magic sitting this one out. I feel you, man. King ABC with the Dilly. She so just went to get. Start putting these comments on here. See how my life ain't right right now. Just want to get breakfast. I'm going from 13s. Want a size 13. Oh, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, Wizard Medicine. What's up to everybody? Oh, June 18th. Yeah, there'll be there'll be more colors too by the end. There'll be more colors by the end, but there's four colors right now. So, um, and then like I said, there'll be more by that time. I'll still be pumping out. More twelve dollar, twelve dollar colors, um, throughout the month. We're, we're in May now. Yeah, there'll be some this month too. So yeah, just be on the lookout, man. Disney, I hit on Foot Locker and my plug always at a twelve for me. I'm at, that's what's up, man. See, my my plug is finish line, and I ain't getting no men's at all. Uh, my guy was like, man, we ain't got some grade school. I think he said grade school, or just at kids. And um, and then of course y'all know finish line pushed them back. Can you see size thirteen gang? Everybody's showing love. Yeah, man, that's that's my plug. And you know he lets me know you know I got a I got twelve for you, you know things like that. But not this time. And then flex flex ain't been showing me love at all. Either the yours, yeah. So I think they pushed theirs back. I think it said the the seventh. I want to say the seventh. That's next Saturday. Look at my calendar. Something like that. I think it's later this week sometime. Yeah, yeah, next week. Sorry, I can't even see showing love. Yeah, man. So he usually would hit me up, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, uh, we got your size here. We good. Don't even sweat it." And then he'll let me know that, uh, you know, later on, five o'clock, I'll let you know what sizes I have left. And he'll, you know, he'll hook me up that way. But y'all know how it's been. It's been crazy. What up, Kicknology, man? What's up, man? No synthetic. No synthetic. What's going on? But yeah, he'll let me know 
you know, I got I got these for you, I got these for you, you know, but I have no flex hookups at all. And um they be acting bougie in there, man. I don't know. They be and then one one of the flex stores, they just be hella busy. And then the one at uh at uh, at the same mall at the finish line that I normally go to, you know, they just be like, no, nah, man, no. Nah. That's how I stay attitude, you know. So it's like, you know, trying to talk to somebody in there about stuff, you know. But uh, my finish line people be straight. Drinking raspberry flavored coffee. That's what's up, man. I'm drinking no flavored coffee because I ain't got none right now. Struggling, fam. I'm struggling. I just send my son like, yo, go get some coffee for us. Good to have you in here, man, kick. You going from 13s, man? You were, you were 12 also, aren't you? Or you're 11 and a half. Which one are you? 12, 11 and a half or 12? I know you one of those. But, but yeah, if you know me, y'all know me, man. I'm a, I'm a 13 fan. That's my silhouette. I mean, everybody loves, you know, threes, ones. I love threes and ones and fours. You know, I love the two. I just wish the two would come back out. We had talked about that before. But um, once you get past those, man, 13s are my favorite, man. Oh, we got in the building my kicks. What do you do, babe? What up, G? Yeah, how y'all doing today? Look man? what we got. How's D it, got juice. Look at D got juice. What's up, Juice got D? Juice got D. <laughs> man, my boy, man. They call him D got juice, but I call him Juice got D. You know what I'm saying? Baby LeBron. Yes, sir. <laughs> that boy said, look, that boy, that boy said. <laughs> You see the lineup, <laughs> you know right, what right. I'm saying? That boy said, man, you know that fresh lineup and shit. You feel me? <laughs> He's like, fuck you, man. You know what I mean? I was, look at this lineup on that beer gang. Right. gang. I said, look at my boy. My boy out there feeling that self. Beer gang in the building, man. <laughs> I'm going to my haircut, man. I ain't even going to hold y'all, man. But I'm going to get my haircut, and I'll be on there, man, with a fresh line. I ain't going to hold y'all. Hey, bro. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, no. I just had for the people this morning. Bro. What do you say? Oh, I want to jump in real quick because I'm finna um, I'm finna get on the road. But like, I'm a, when I get out these trees and get back on the live, I mean, I I'll be back on before uh the drop. But um, finish line, my boy just hit me because I was like um, y'all doing first come first serve, right? He said, bro, that the shoes 13s will not like. The shipments are so backed up. They will not get them in like it's for like weeks, bro. So he's like, mm -hmm. all the pairs are gonna be online. This is like the only time you can better get them. So he said you should be able to hit multiple. Yeah, that's what that's what I heard too last night from my finish line plug. That was like, yeah, it's only they ain't online. got nothing. They ain't got like, nothing in stores. All everything the, online. Online. So everybody, yeah. everybody in the chat, bro. Like this is your chance to get it if you want them from finish line. Like it's gonna have plenty. They got plenty of pairs online, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be a battle. And uh, yes, sir. This line and JD, they were just all advertising online only. Uh -huh. online only. <laughs> I should have yeah. brought the Travis okay. Scott up in here. Let y'all see them Travis Scott. Huh? Adam Gill in the house. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Hold on. Oh, you 11 and a half. I knew you was one of those two, 11 and a half or 12. Keep not just saying, What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? <laughs> Juice yeah. got is not good. Pause. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I ain't think about that though, Mike. See what I'm saying? I Can ain't I think about stuff like that, kid. Undead stock juice. <laughs> hey, hey, Ralphie, Ralphie and Kit gave me that name. They call me Dead Stock Juice, bro. Hey, hey. shout out to Ralphie, man. Ralphie hit 8K, didn't it? Yeah, didn't Ralphie just hit 8K. That's on that 8K, bro. Yeah. Why hit seven? Why just hit seven? Yeah. He hit, okay. bro, unless in like a week, bro. That's like, what's up, bro? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just hit three. <laughs> yeah, man. Stop flexing on us, cause you can grow a full beard. Yeah, I'm telling you. Well, see, I I could grow it. Hey, I'm still trying to get. My job it. said no, 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 no. Hey, I'm still no. trying to get this, bro. This is the hardest thing to get on your beard. This little section right here. Nah, I got bro, I'm always here. shaving mine. Yeah, it's I shave just, mine too. I'm always shaving mine in here. Oh, it, yeah, I probably need to hit right there with like a razor, bro. Yeah, I think it'll start going. Yeah, I always be shaving this part, man. I don't, don't like hit it with that razor, razor bro. I'm, 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 I'm crazy. I think I think I'm gonna go like goddamn crazy. Don't don't hit it with that razor, bro. That joint might look like a Nestle Crunch bar after that. <laughs> they'll call you. They'll call you. Uh, D got D got Nestle. <laughs> hey, who, who? 
I used to use Magic Shave. Any of y'all use Magic Shave? Bro, that shit stank. My it stepdad too. used to use that. My job, stepdad bro. used to use it too, man. When I was a kid, I'm like, what does this smell up the whole house? Yeah. I mean, and it was his I, Magic Shave. <laughs> y'all, the best part I got, I actually found out it was black on um, Scott's Porter. It smells good and it's awesome, bro. Yeah, that's really? it is black owned. Yeah, that's what I found that out. It's a black, it's a black owned business, so you know, you yeah, it was bezel or bevel, right? That was black owned too, I believe. Oh, for real? Uh, but yeah, man, I used to use magic shave on my face, but uh, I stopped using it a long time ago. But but um, but that stuff do stink like a mug. I tried the one that didn't stink, there was one that had a better smell, but it didn't work. Hey, yeah. this. Hey, I about to say for all, everybody that got a beard, this is how you know you old, bro. When you you know you remember my mom, like my dad, he used to always say he put the aftershave on, it light up the whole bathroom in the room. Yeah. <laughs> and I tried to slap oh, it on my fresh beard. I was like, I said, ah, this stuff was burning. <laughs> what? For real? Burned, boy. Seriously, for real, for real. <laughs> he said you'll be D got bumps. <laughs> right. D, yeah, I like that one. I like that one way better than what I said. D got bumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but. I started using a razor a long time ago, so I just I use um I like using um Harry's the Harry's razor. Yeah, it's nice. The Harry's razor is nice. Hey, you, no so you know what? You know what else good for the beard now? But you know, we gotta keep it ready. G, the juice. <laughs> oh lord, here you go. Where y'all find this dude? At? <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Where y'all find? Telling you, bro. <laughs> you gonna bottle it up? Yeah. Right. Hey, bro. Let me get something yeah. out of the bottle. Spray it in my beard, man. Hey, it's gonna be called D's P Beard Juice. Oh, oh he's there. P Juice. <laughs> D's oh, P no. Beard Juice. <laughs> oh no, bro. P Bro, pause. <laughs> oh no, bro. What is y'all doing? Bro? Early for this. It is too early for y'all with this crap this morning. I'm married to mine. Was free for a long time. <laughs> that might be free. <laughs> See, I got Harry's. I've been saving since I was 16. Dang, you was an old man at 16. You was an old man at 16. Yeah, the Harry's man, the Harry's razor is nice, man. It's smooth, you know. Yeah. It's nice right. blades on it. And hey, it I, hey, I'm not even gonna lie for us, bro. Like, I know I'm getting older now because, like, you know how your mama and your dad, you know, they always got tweezers, you know, like the, the like the uh, nose hairs, bro. Like, <laughs> I was like, bro, I, you know, I was like, this morning, I, I got one. I was like, ooh, I was like, what is that, bro? Them nose hairs starting to grow out, bro. I don't like that, bro. Yeah, I got that uh, that electric trimmer for, for the nose. Yeah, yeah that's old people stuff, man. I'm about to invest in one because shit. Wait, none of you were alive. I was alive? I mean, you can't be that much. You bro, Disney, how old are you, man? Business, got the age on them. We around the same age, I'm sure. Business, but uh, my home I, when I was when I was in high school, you know, like 14, 15 years old, even 16, I wasn't really growing facial hair then. I had like a little, little bit here, but my homeboy, uh, my homeboy Mayu and my cousin Isaac, especially Mayu, Mayu had Mayu was a year older than me. Me and Isaac around the same age. We, we are the same age, but my you beard was like, bro, are you supposed to be in high school? How old are you? Right. <laughs> you look like you didn't graduate years ago with that beard, bro. <laughs> he oh. a grown man. And then Isaac beard grew in and he his beard was growing like crazy. We um Isaac looked like um ice cube uh, ice cube from higher learning because he had the afro. Hit the afro and the beard. Did you see Higher Learning? Yeah. Yeah. No. So Ice Cube character. I forgot his name in Higher Learning. But that's who we looked like in high school. I remember back in high school, boy, everybody, you know, beard would connect. They had the patchy beards and everybody just had chops. Remember chops back back in the day? Oh, like yeah. technology beard? Yeah, oh, just the sideburns. <laughs> they got some chops inside his face, boy. Business. Yeah, I'm 44, man. So I ain't that far behind you, but. But yeah, I'm way behind you, bro. <laughs> I ain't that far. You was out of high school by the time I got there, but you know. He said he enjoyed being the baby. Baby, he said, wow, I'm fifty-ish. <laughs> it's just kicking in, bro. 
<laughs> it's like I can't believe it. Hey, okay, you say you're 44, right? Okay, so is it true that your 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 foot, your shoe size changed the older you get? No, mine didn't. No, bro. They say you're going no. no, I did the same. I've been a I've been a size 12 since I've been a size 12 since 15 years old. Damn. I was 11 and a half in eighth grade, and then I went up a half a size. And my foot ain't changed since. So how, how tall are you as a first? Just under six foot, like 5'11". Oh, we're just saying height then. Yeah, that boy, that boy. Five you look two. taller than me. Yeah, I'm no. five eleven. I think I'm touching six, but you know my kick's like six five, six six. So, you know. Yeah, I wish. He's <laughs> a brown giant. Right. I wish. I ain't that tall, bro. I ain't that Titanic, tall. what's up, man? What's going on? Hey, what's Emily's about six five? <laughs> He said, I've been a size 14 since 1998. <laughs> That's Man, my brother, so my brother's four years younger than me. And uh, he was like 11 or 12 wearing a size 13. And I used to tell him, boy, act your shoe size, not your age. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> but his feet ain't grown since then either. He's been a 13 ever since he was like 11, 12 years old. But he's taller than me, though. Yeah, I, would, I wish I wish I was a size eight and a half, nine, bro. Shit. Why? It's so much easier to get shoes. My yeah, I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Okay, like, okay, this is what I do, bro. Y'all already know when it's first come first serve. Well, you know that's probably will never happen again. But you always go through the line. You be like, oh, he wear a ten, he wear a nine, he wear this. But like lately, when I've been going, bro. Everybody got big shoes. I'm like, oh, that's a 12, that's a 13, that's a 11. That's a 11. <laughs> none, none of the small feet people be in line, bro. Like, <laughs> right. And you know your size is going to be gone. Well, right. see, like, you people know, be, uh... then, if you get in line and you like fifth or six and you see long feet, you already know the 11, 12, 13 is gone. You dead. No, you you good, bro. I don't know what you said was inappropriate, but yeah, no, you good, bro. Shit, no, nah, man. We all grown folks over here. Grown man over here, you feel me? Shit, yeah. Food, what up, boo? Titanic, man. You know, man. Right. Titanic, I'm finna be in your neck of the woods. I'm about. Oh, snap. What's up, boo? I missed that. What up, G? What, what up, up? Bree? What up, G? You know that y'all heard that new song? I want all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that, that uh, look, look, D, I just know what I'm talking about. Oh, D. <laughs> 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 That's on funny as hell, bro. Hey, bro that's right. He's crazy. He's <laughs> crazy. 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 He said, I want all of them. Look, Titanic, Titanic said he was a, a size 11 in, in a primary school. Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. <laughs> Into my early 20s. Yeah, I'm probably going to hang around down there for a little while, too. Uh, Titanic and see what's popping. You know when y'all going to pull up the soccer line? Pull up, George. Man, I'm, I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming, bro. I'm, I'm a tour of everybody city. You I'm feel what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Like, I hate I, I hate I missed all my West Coast people whenever I touch down down there, but I'm coming to Vegas. So whenever I pull up at Vegas, man, I want my West Coast people to pull up. I'm coming to Chicago next year. I done, I done yeah. been, been in New Orleans, but I didn't know my kids. I done been to uh, Texas with Swagoo. I want to go to Chicago, but, hey, you got to know somebody out there in Chirac, so I'm probably yeah, going to I mean, I'm outside of Chicago, so you know oh, just stay out the alleys, bro. As long as you stay out the alleys, you good in Chicago. Right. <laughs> I mean, they said the, the, the same thing about Washington D.C., bro. I didn't know I'm, Washington D.C. was that that bad, bro. But yes, what? indeed. Washington, See, bro. What, what people fail to realize, bro, you can go anywhere, and it's bad. It don't matter how bad it is. It's bad everywhere you go. But the key is, do what you're supposed to do. Don't be out there lollygagging. See, like you, you can put yourself in a situation to, you know what I'm saying, you know, get, get in a sticky situation, should I say. Or you can keep yourself in a, in, a, in a good situation. Like they say, you know, you go to New York, don't be riding the subways at 10, 11, 12 at night. You know what I'm saying? Don't ride the subway. Just catch your Uber. You know, as long as you catch your Uber, they drop you off at your front door, you good. Don't be, yeah. don't be, don't be hopping on no subways and stuff <clears throat> like that late at night. Same thing in Chicago, I'm sure. Don't You don't want to get on the train late at night. You don't want to be moving around in, 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 in alleyways and stuff late at night. Go where you're supposed to go. 
I mean, you're a tourist. Be a tourist. Well, I ain't, I, you say be a tourist, but I was talking to somebody down in Houston, and he was telling me, um, like, when I went to New Orleans, you know, went to Bourbon Street, but he was like, you got to be careful down there because he said, like, man, you don't want to get caught on the alley in Bourbon Street. He said, yeah, get you. I mean, see, like, bourbon not that bad, bro. I mean, like, I mean, I don't feel that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, just go where you're supposed to go. Do what you're supposed to do. And don't act all suspicious and crap. Act normal. When I pulled up a bourbon, I got on a little trolley train. I rode it down to bourbon and got off. And then went to um, the French Quarters down there, down there with a the casino. Where, you know, down you know down there by the casino where it got, like, all them high-end high uh, boutiques and stuff. I was down there with them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, man. So you know, you just shoot, shoot. You know what I'm saying? Fast up in that joint, chill, have a good time. Do you think eat good food? You and know? then you got that little, you got that chicken place down there, bro. I'm talking about that chicken be busting. You you eat chicken like at three, four o'clock in the morning. I don't know the name of it, but it's who like that, one of, who that chicken and waffles. Morning. This is called who that chicken and waffles. Mm-hmm. That's uh one of my my wife best friend cousin started that and i don't know if y'all ever seen uh dan rue they'd be all over uh and he'd be like yeah baby yeah baby we live baby we live you know what i'm saying the dude that done that snipe q is up king abc said man make sure y'all get ready over there in snipes he went to um, politics hmm uh, oh i kind of saying oh no i didn't i didn't go uh oh yeah snipes q is up I- but that Shout was out to sneaker politics, man. Much brother, like the number yeah, guys we at. Derek and Chicken. Always got that. my strap. He talking about we that. Not brothers chicken. He probably talking about we that. I would think he talking about we that. Because if he talking about we that, he gotta be talking about we that if he talking about because it was on Canal Street. He talking about that one right there by Canal and, Cl- and Claiborne. Right there on the end to the right. Gotta be. So Must have been a couple years ago, right? Next time I come down, I gotta try that that uh po boy. They said, well, I'm just, I just said I should have tried that last time. Yeah, they got them po' boys down there. I just wish uh, Jeans po' boys was still open. Can't believe, it, man. Dude bought that joint for 700 grand and then shut it down. No. Well. See, like, the people wouldn't sell to him. And then so he bought the property for a high value and then up the rent on the people that, that used to own the building. <laughs> And then they wouldn't pay, they refused to pay their rent. Oh, that's whack. Yeah. Hey, my kids, you got you got stock numbers on these shoes, man. It's a it's a it's a bunch of them, bro. I mean, I think everybody should be fine. Like, if oh, you're oh. not fine, don't panic. You know what I'm saying? Don't panic. Just like y'all see, just like what happened yesterday. BX is BX in the chat. Did BX yeah. listen to me? Oh, yeah. BX, if you hear, say here. Up in the chat for me, but yeah, man, just like uh, what happened yesterday with foot action, should be going down in the next week or so. With um, what happened with foot, foot lock? With foot lock, they, were, they got delayed. Shit, man. I know the vintage shot to the vintage yeah, man. Yeah. And, um, he caught the pair because see, I hit him up and I was like, I thought they put him back on the app, but that's, apparently, that's only foot locker, bro. Like, when when like mm-hmm. champs and foot action, I guess they get pairs, they just let them go, bro. No, that's not what happens. It's not what happens. It's not what happens. The district manager has to give the okay to sell sell your leftover pass that don't Uh, that don't come from corporate. So, like, if a release day happened today, like, okay, like the red flints is today. So, Mm -hmm. in the morning, the district manager got to call out his managers and let him know, let them know that they have they have the green light to sell. And if they have the green light to sell, then they can sell. And I mean, if they get their shipment Tuesday, they can do first come, first serve because it's already a green light on that shoe. But if if the day after the, the district manager call and say, no, no selling the dunks, no selling the University of Blue Ones, they're going to be re-raffled. And then they're rolling back with the re-raffle. That's the way that goes. Mm. But yeah, so um, so they had the green light the day after the University Blues to sell the leftover pairs. And just about every foot action, I think, yesterday um, received their pairs. And I told BX, I said, look, if you're looking for your size, you know, if you're looking for your size, hit your local foot actions. And to all y'all that's up in this chat, y'all local foot actions might have didn't sell their pairs yesterday. They might be selling them today because they should have received them yesterday. 
So if they received them yesterday, everybody didn't crack the box open and let it fly. Some some people crack their box open and then they uh might be selling them today. So stay on. Wait, what are we talking about? Huh? What shoe we talking about? The University Blue Fours. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm tripping fours, boy. Oh. Mm-hmm. So just if y'all still looking for y'all sizes or something like that, like I think uh King ABC still looking for thirteens and stuff like that. Hey, y'all make sure y'all go. Need a size, uh, bro. I'm some shoes. Hmm. I'm about to ask the first that he need a size and look who's in the house. The fours? Nah, not in the four. Lito. Lito. What's good? What up, G? What's going on? What up, Swag? New, new, new haircut. Who this? <laughs> you talking about? You talking about a D? No, me. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I cut the mohawk and went with the went with the uh, the Big Daddy Kane flat Big Daddy top. Kane. Yeah. <laughs> the Big Daddy Kane. Hey, bro, yeah. I'm gonna tell you, bro. Everybody can't rock the flat top. Yeah. Hey, man, I, I rock I rock the convertible, me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the convertible. Yeah, that's what I call that joint. Top down, baby. Top down. Nah, I'm eventually gonna cut the whole thing off, bro. I just I just started from from there because it's about to be. You already know, kick. You already know how it is in the south. It get hot in the summertime, man. It's still all this all this hair about to come off. At least you, you can go back and forth. I can't go back and forth. <laughs> I can't go back and forth, man. I cut my stuff off in 2013. That joint say, "Look for me. I ain't coming back." <laughs> Not on that time. It was over with. Oh man. See, man. I mean, <laughs> he said, "Look I mean, for me." I'm, I'm. I wasn't sold on the University Blue Fours, bro. They nice. They dope. It's a dope shoe. But well, it didn't. It wasn't just, selling. It just, oh, it just, it just didn't have them on feet, man. I mean, I think they dope, bro, but I, I just would have liked to see that gray be navy blue. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, if that gray would have been navy blue, and then you talking about, like, a navy blue back tab on that joint with that with that Carolina blue jump, man, bro, that joint would have been gas to me. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah. To me. <laughs> i tell you, i tell you what I think would have made it gas. Nike Air. That's it. Nah, but they can't, they can't give everybody Nike Air. Yeah, they can't give everybody not care. They saved that to OGs well, and collaborations. So <clears throat> let's let's take a look at this shit real quick. The reason why I like my pet for so I go pull it out is because my the quality of mine was flawless, and that's like the first all suede Jordan that I have that has no glue stains at all. So yeah, so if you gave me nice. if you gave me right here where the wing is at, if you gave me navy blue right here, that's what I'm saying. And then instead of this black. If you would have gave me navy blue and then left this cement, I'm okay with it. And right. then put the back tab and put this navy blue okay. with a with a with a uh what would y'all think a white? Or uh, what, what, what I would have been good with the navy blue joint. Like so change all everything navy, black to navy blue, maybe. Yeah. Okay. okay. I might so, have been good with that. Okay. So, so uh, if you if you I mean my kids, I'm pretty sure you got a pair. So I'm saying just get an extra pair and customize it, bro. No, I ain't with all the customizations. I'm finna customize these Hawaiian dunks. That's what I'm gonna custom. I ain't gonna customize them. I'm just gonna get somebody to take all the stuff off of us. I don't know. Man. I don't think I would don't I don't think I would change anything on the shoe. I'm with my kicks. I I mean it's a dope, it is a dope shoe. It's dope. No, nah, I ain't got nothing bad to say. And I held it, I was like, yo, this is a really dope shoe, but it just wasn't for me. Right. It just it just wasn't for me. It's not the it wasn't the university blue shoe that I wanted this year. Right. It just wasn't. I wanted. I wanted the the one or the hyper royal, but I really wanted the university blue one the most. But now uh, the, the obsidian thirteen, when it come out, that's what I'm looking for now. Because I, you know, that's the next the next you know Carolina blue shoe. Next Carolina blue Jordan is dropping. Besides the um, no, that is that's the last the one, the thirteen. I believe. Hey, man. Yeah, the thirteen. I'm yeah. Tell you, man. I'm gonna tell y'all. Damn, bro, What's up, Jesse? The uh, the hyper roy is not worth the resale. No, hell no. They're not. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. If you want to pay resale for a shoe that's worth it, buy the University Blues, even with the glue stains. 
I'm just being I honest with you. Dope. I got some mint gray laces. Coming. Yeah, that's going to be dope, man. With them cement, cement laces, that's going to be hella dope, uh, Disney. Like I said, I like the shoe, too. I like it, too. I'm not hating it. I wouldn't change anything about no. it. I wouldn't change anything about it. I just wasn't a shoe for me. Y'all, please don't think that I'm saying that I don't like the shoe because I don't. <clears throat> I like the shoe. I think I feel just like a fresh saying, like, the shoe just not for me. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, I mean, I it's just like, just everybody you has said, me on. Yeah, you remember yeah. I said that from the jump. I was like, right. I just don't like the gray on it. I mean, I like right. the shoe. You did it from the beginning. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and even whenever, I mean, because yesterday I could have got my 13. Easy. I'm talking about easy, bro. Hey, hey, Bisney, where are you getting your uh, your uh, cement laces from? Titanic want to know. Uh, there's another place I'll tell them too. Uh, a guy had tagged me in it yesterday. One of my good friends of mine. Let me see. What's going on, man? We appreciate you stopping in. Y'all stick around because you know how I do on my channel when I do a live cop in the morning. Y'all know what I do by the end of the cop. So y'all want to stick around. Me, oh, go ahead. My bad. Oh, you want to stick around? I know Miracle. I know you have to get your Starbucks. So, you know, you stick around for that. All right. Y'all come through. Go okay. ahead, man. Uh, slicky Laces. So this is a picture of what they look like. Let's focus. Oh, damn. Let me put you on the big screen. Hold on. Interesting. I like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's dope. That right there is dope. Yeah. So it's uh, Slicky, Slicky Laces. You can follow them on IG, Slicky Laces. S-L-I-C-K-I-E-S-L-A-C-E-S. -E -E and I'll put it in the chat, too. Skeezes. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, I got a public announcement to make. Uh oh, LeBron James is back. <laughs> I fell asleep. Did they beat? Did they win <coughs> last night? No, they lost. They lost. They lost. Yeah, but they I, lost. LeBron looked good, boy. How about Jason yeah. Tatum last night? Huh? Oh yeah, that boy there. Yeah. Jason Tatum. Boy. Oh, he turned into an animal. I mean, not that he wasn't an animal right. already, but you know what I'm saying? But it just you be good to see how with. players grow. You know who Jason Tatum trained with? Kobe Bryant. Kobe. Kobe. He trained with yes. Kobe. If you're going to train with Kobe, you got to take what Kobe teaches you and you got to apply it. Yeah. Jason yeah. Tatum is applying what Kobe taught him. Give him, give him, give him two more years. Give him two more years. He's still in that. He's still in that baby stage right now, like where it's it's up and down, right? You see the talent there. Some but days it's just up and down. But give him what once he hit that main prime age, oh, he gonna be a problem. Him and Jalen Brown, Jalen Brown too. Here's the question, though. Here's the question: Is he gonna stay in Boston? No, mm -mm. he gonna he be gone. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think he gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think Boston has a Boston, of course, has a good team, and and he's the man. As yeah, maybe they build around him in Boston. Option. Yeah, he's the number one scoring option of that team. Period. Then you got like Jalen Brown and Kimba Walker, you know. But it's obvious he's a main scoring option, you know. Right. Do you leave? I think I think Boston will throw the kitchen sink at him to try to get him to stay. They better. But uh, it's gonna be interesting when his when his contract is up. Right, I'm gonna yeah. say it's gonna be hell, bro. He hey, up in the Carolinas. Uh, what up, Wyatt? How you doing, brother? Up, Wyatt and Wyatt. Max, yeah, bro. Everybody's Ooh, what up, congratulations, bro. bro. Yeah, congrats on seven thousand G on that seven K. Yes, sir. On that seven K, boy. CP3 make a difference, bro. Everywhere CP3 go, he turn a franchise around. Everywhere right. he goes, man. Everywhere he goes, that boy flow general, bro. Like I'll tell you, bro. If the Lakers had got matter of fact, remember LeBron was gonna get CP3 one year and they blocked it. Mm -mm. That was Kobe. Remember, that was Kobe. Remember Kobe. That was Kobe was gonna get CP3 and Dwight Howard, and the league said no. So sir. here, check this. Y'all gonna run through the league. Y'all gotta watch. No, y'all gotta watch. Um, all the smoke with uh Matt Barnes and Stephen Jackson. He they had Genie Bus on their show and Jenny Buss broke down the whole scenario of what happened with that trade because if y'all remember the Hornets yeah. was a New Orleans slash Oklahoma City Hornets 
and, and the they league were, owned them. They were owned by the league. Mm-hmm. So what mm-hmm. happened was they had a general manager, mm-hmm. right? The general manager thought that he pulled all the strings as far as making all these moves. So what happens is they're going through this collective bargaining agreement, and they, everybody's in these meetings. All the owners are in these meetings. The Hornets general manager goes and pulls this trigger, but not only pulled the trigger, he blasted it. Mm-hmm. And Jeannie said if he would have just shut up because the owners were blindsided because the owners own the team. All the owners who own the team, right. including David Stern, was in this meeting and all of a sudden had to see it like in all these outlets, like what, what was, wait, I didn't agree to this. I didn't like, we didn't, we don't know anything about this. Yeah. And so David Stern being not the commissioner of the NBA, but being the commissioner of the Charlotte uh, of the Hornets had to do what was the right move or the most, or the, um, where they voted. You remember all the, all the, yeah. All the owners. Owners. Yeah. yeah. See, it was, it was a collective owners. Like, right. But if old dude didn't, do that right it it, it would have went smoother mm-hmm. it went smoother and and cp3 would have ended up being a laker but by the time they voted to stop the trade the other teams was looking at them and then the clippers swooped in yeah and grabbed cp3 and there you go but that dude she was like if he would have just been quiet <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. My hey, and I the smoke is a dope show, bro. Yeah, it is a dope show. Hey, jump man, jump man, Eric in the building. J-E Shout out to him in the building. I didn't see the one with Shaq last night, but I watched a clip when he was talking about when he found out when Kobe died, and that was heartbreaking. Just watching that mm-hmm. clip by itself. But I gotta watch a full episode, man. But the thing, the the guests they get on that show, like how y'all get Genie Bus. Right. Y'all got like the owner of the Lakers to come on y'all show and talk with y'all. But right. then it, they pull Kobe at the Kobe interview was nice. Mm-hmm. That was a good interview with Kobe. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you another another dude, man. And I'm not a big and I'm not a big Rockets fan. Uh, but I live here in Houston though, and I'm not a big I'm not the biggest Rockets fan, but Kevin Porter Jr. Sheesh. That boy is a superstar in the yeah, making, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 that boy is the second youngest player to drop fifty. He dropped mm-hmm. fifty yesterday. Yeah, yeah. He gonna be. He gonna be a problem, man. Hey, you got. You got to put some respect on my boy down here in Carolina, man. Too now. Oh, you talking about Lamelo? Nineteen years old. Doing oh yeah. Le, no, well, Lamelo. But but see, we already knew what Lamelo yeah, was right. was gonna do in in high school though. Lamelo was Lamelo was balling. I mean, I watched Lamelo when he was a freshman in high school. I think I think Lamelo better than Lonzo, bro. Well, he obvious now. Even even uh, Watchcom would tell you that. Even uh, 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 Papa would tell you that. Papa been saying that. He said that yeah, uh, Lamelo was his best was his best uh, uh, athlete, his best uh, uh, son. And he said the shooter was uh, Leangelo. Leangelo was the shooter. And then uh, and then uh, and then Lonzo was the best floor general. So what, what happened to Leandro? Honestly, bro, honestly, I'm gonna just be honest with you. Leangelo's in the wrong sport. Leangelo needs to be playing football. Leangelo is a is built like a tight end, bro. He needs right. he he needs to be playing football somewhere. Like I just don't think he has the prototype, like like the prototype body, and he doesn't doesn't have that skill set to be in the NBA. I mean, I mean, yeah, he could shoot, but I mean, there's other aspects of the game that's going to have to get you on the NBA team, and that's why he can't never stay on the roster. So honestly, I think he just needs to be he needs to be on on somebody's uh, football team. He needs to be playing tight end somewhere. Uh, I mean, what up? What's good, brother? What's good, John? Right. Everybody say what up, Ted Squad up in here. <laughs> that hand, that that the hand on the on the. Uh, on the chin like that. Hit a boy like this right here. I told you, bro. Like, he behind. I told y'all. Like, every time he top it, like, he behind the boy. <laughs> that boy up there like, yeah. With the yeah. Well, hit you with that Barry White voice. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> My brother used to smash Barnes' mom's back uh, in the day. Uh, what? <laughs> Jeez. 
<laughs> Your brother's almost met Barnes' stepdaddy. <laughs> y'all, don't, y'all don't play with Matt Barnes. Y'all seen what he did to Derek Fisher? Boy drove all the way up there. Man, bro, put on a diaper and drove. He Boy, ain't. Y'all, yeah, y'all already know I'm a big uh, Cavs fan. Remember when Delonte was messing with the LeBron mama? Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, LeBron, yep. LeBron was mad as hell, but that's why he was exiled. Yeah. That's why he was I think exiled. it was. I think it was more the fact that he was he was mad because nobody said. I mean, it was it was behind his back, like yeah. nobody said nothing to mention nothing. That was more to it. And then he was going around telling other teammates, and other teammates knew about it, and he was kind of secluded from the whole situation. Yeah, um, I think it just so much the fact that Delonte West is actually man. I mean, his mama a grown woman. Mama, hey, what what what? Uh, baby boy said, "Mama got to have a life too." Right. <laughs> <laughs> You see, LeBron, LeBron is about loyalty. You know, yeah. he's he's about loyalty when it comes to the people that's around him. So, which is why you'll see some of his old teammates go to different teams with him because if he is loyal to you, you know, he looks out for it. And that's how it's been with his whole inner circle. So, with his family, all the dudes he went to high school with, yeah. all work for him. His Bro, chef, can- his chef went to high school with him. You know, all these people that's on his team, they all are from. Akron, bro. You look know? at Rich Paul, bro. He's like the number one agent. Yeah, in the so league, these people own. He has his loyalty, and I saw somebody post uh, a picture of him, and it showed his tattoo that said "loyalty." And it's like loyal to what? And I'm, and I had to come like, yo, he. It's not about bro, basketball bro. because bro. basketball teams are not loyal. The owners will, will ship you off in a minute, and it's been happening for years. They'll trade you and don't even tell you you're being traded. That's not loyalty. The loyalty is your circle, you know, and that's mm-hmm. what he's about. And that circle broke his trust. Like, how y'all just holding this back from me that this dude who is supposed to be my guy is smashing my mom's and all y'all know about it? You know what? I'm out. Y'all can <laughs> <stay> here, Cleveland. <laughs> I'm going to Miami. F right. y'all. I'm gone. <laughs> but think about it. Think about it. How many, how many guys on that team that was on that team how many guys have played with LeBron again? No. Mo Mo Williams was the only one that I could think of. He yeah, Mo, but that and and that was honestly, and he didn't last that long. If you notice that, like he played like a few games and he he just kind of oh, rotted really? on the bench and deteriorated. He was done. I mean, he yeah. was, he was a shell of himself. Yep. He was a shell of himself. But, but he he was an all-star when he played with LeBron the first oh, time. Yeah. You know? That, that mm-hmm. I mean, LeBron helped him become an All Star. I remember when Shaq played with LeBron. That shit was crazy. <laughs> oh, well, that Shaq was just—he was old as hell. <laughs> it was over with for Shaq at that point. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, I'm about to get out of here. Much yeah. love to everybody. Where you going, fam? Oh, I gotta, I gotta hit the streets, B. You gotta hit the streets. Oh, back you, the- you already know, bro. I can't. <laughs> Hey, I can't, I can't season. cook at the house, bro. I can't cook at the house. She has kicks in the streets, bro. I gotta cook out here in these streets. Y'all, y'all already see I'm in the car, boys. I gotta hit the streets too. Yeah, man. You know I got some black laces you know. and the red flints. What? No. Yeah, but business always do some uh some lace swaps, man. He I does his thing. I think red laces. I text you, John Man. Here. Go for uh King ABC. I'm gonna text you. I'm gonna text you, JB. Let's LeBron go. did the right way. He invested into what his friends do best and created wealth for his friends. He don't get enough love for net. He did, man. Yeah. He did his thing. Yeah. But yeah, man. Much love to everybody. Y'all go check out K Fresh, man. Fresh by design. That's what I'm rocking today. Stay with the stay fresh hat on. I don't wear. I, I don't think I wear no other hat. Not, <laughs> not hardly, anyways. But yeah, man. Much love to everybody. Y'all stay cool, stay blessed, and like my bro say, stay fresh. I see y'all next week. Well, I'll I see mean, y'all tomorrow. So yeah, take the skip and flip it tomorrow, yep. man. We'll probably do that joint around about 12 noonish because I'm on nights right now. So I see y'all tomorrow about 12 noon or so. We'll All do right. kick and skip it and flip it. But uh good luck to everybody. I hope y'all get W's, dope shoes, dope shoes, man. I can't wait to get these joints this evening in hand and have my pair. This is a pair of shoes I've been waiting on all year. But, yeah, man, much love to everybody. Peace. Peace. Peace, bro. All right, bro. I'll catch y'all, bros, later. All right, man. All right.
Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah. So that kind of touched a little bit about that whole thing about you know the whole bouncing around from team to team or whatever like that. People gotta understand too. LeBron, the second time LeBron went back to Cleveland, he ain't go back for basketball. He cared less about the Cavaliers, bro. At that point, he was done with the Cavaliers. He did. He it was all business, like it's all strategic, man. He did what he was supposed to do. He went back there, started that school, built that foundation over there in his hometown, and then once he got what he needed to go, he was supposed to go to the Lakers at all. He had already planned on going to play for the Lakers. He'd already had that plan in his mind, but he had to make that stop right there to build that school and get all that foundation built before anything. So, like, you know, don't be surprised, like, like how D-Wade is part that has some ownership in the NBA team. Oh, look for LeBron. That's next, bro. Once he once he once he does that all time scoring, become the all time scoring leader. And he ain't got nothing else to play for at that point. That's that's the that's the next achievement. And then he he done. He done, man. I can see I can see LeBron getting a couple of his boys, like his his NBA players, to come together and create a group to own an NBA team. I can see it happening. Mm-hmm. I can definitely see it happening. But yeah, he did he did go back to Cleveland for that. But it was also that like he he never he never wanted to right. leave Cleveland. Right, like there's some things that came in place that, like, you know what, I'm out. You know, mm-hmm. um, because he should have been Cleveland for the for his career. I mean, that's I think that's what should have been. But going back to Cleveland to try to win a championship. I mean, they had Kyrie Irving and had some a good base for him to come back and then try to win. You know, right. and, he did, and he did and he did it right, and he came back mm-hmm. and he did it right. Yeah, but, came but like you said, he he was he was pretty much done with Cleveland. He didn't go back there for the owner. He went back there for the fans, mm-hmm. you know, and and to try to get you know what he tried to get when he was there in, in the first place. What up, East Coast? How you doing? What's going man? on, fellas? What's going on? Yeah. No. He definitely didn't come back from the owner, bro. Nah, like no. <laughs> he, owner. Even, he never he never even dressed him by his first name. <laughs> he would never right. even call it talk call him out his name. Who what? Who, who we talking about? LeBron with, with Dan Gilbert. Oh yeah, they says yeah. I, oh, they all talking about that tweet that he said. I guess it some does it meet the violation or whatever. Yeah, I, I seen a little bit of that, but I didn't get in deep into it. No, we were, just, no, we were going deeper in like when he, you know, when he left Cleveland, went to Miami, came back to Cleveland. That's what we were talking about. Oh uh, yeah, but uh, he made Cleveland. Yeah. No, Cleveland. Uh, what up, Migs? Pew pew pew. <laughs> what up, Migs? You think he's gonna catch Kareem? He barring any major injuries. Kareem, Kareem, his scoring numbers are like so high above everybody else's. It's no, he also played like what 22, like 20 some years in the league? Yeah, 20 years. Yeah. So I mean it's gonna be really hard. LeBron's gonna de- definitely have to do that. But at the same time, you know, Kareem was a scoring machine, right? Kareem was like he was their primary scoring option where LeBron is not the Lakers primary scoring option. Right. But he, but me, he, uh, was he's uh what up? But you gotta understand though, look where he's at though. For him not to be a high scoring commodity like that, he's third oh he's like what let, third all he, time? He's third. Let me tell you let me tell you how many points he has left to catch Kareem. Okay. He got a, he got a little over three thousand points. Are you serious? Yeah. I thought, He's like, hang on, I thought Carl Malone. <laughs> I thought it was Carl, Carl, Carl Malone is second. He's got he's got a a, a little a little over a thousand points to catch Carl, uh, Carl Malone. You so, see how he passed so Michael Carl, Jordan and um yeah. he'll and, catch and Kobe within that in that one season. He'll catch so, up this season. So Kareem is at thirty eight thousand three hundred and eighty seven. Carl Malone is at thirty six thousand nine hundred and twenty eight. LeBron is at thirty five thousand two hundred and eighty three. Oh, yeah. He did that. In a, he did that a year and a half or so. He can do it. What's up, Kim? I'm just surprised Carl Malone got points. Was he a scorer? Because y'all know I, don't, I didn't watch basketball like that. Gee, no, Carl, be- Malone, Carl Malone get buckets. Carl yeah. Malone was a problem at Utah Jazz, <laughs> bro. Him and John Stockton was a problem over there. Argument, always an argument. 
of who was the best power forward in the league at that time, Barkley or Karl Malone. And while they respected each other, when they battled, they battled because they both looked at each other like, I'm the best power forward. No, I'm the best power forward. And it was always a thing, even on the dream team. You know, it was yeah. it, it, when they scrimmaged, you know, talking that trash. But Carl Malone gets buckets. <laughs> yeah, Charles Barkley overweight ass was real too. Yo, listen here. I'm gonna tell you this. See, I can see that I'm old enough to watch that. Barkley. <laughs> now, before he Barkley, now he, you got you got to think like, like you got to think like this. Barkley, you think Barkley was overweight now? Barkley was was big, but Barkley was also 6'5", right? 6'4", 6'5". They tried to list him higher than that, but he was like 6'4", 6'5". But he could jump, right? He was a big dude. He was stocky as heck, but he was fast. Not LeBron fast, but you got to do... Now, Carmelo couldn't do this that Barkley could do. Barkley would get the rebound on one end Mm. and bring the ball up the court on a break and take it all the way to the basket with no problem. That, because Barkley could do that. Barkley had a little more versatility than Carl Malone did. The only thing with Barkley is that when Carl got into the league, Carl was a man immediately on, on Utah. When Barkley came to Philly, Dr. J was still there, and I think Moses was still there. Mm-hmm. So he had to play behind some guys to kick it off. You know? Yes. Hey, the two things that they had in common, both of them was raised deep down in the South. So, you know, they was country fed, cornbread eating bros. Like, so they, they, they all was, they just built different, man. Carl Malone, the sit, hey, you on mute, you on mute me. So. Barkley didn't want to play for the Sixers either, to be honest with you. He gained 300 plus pounds just so he couldn't, dra- so just so he couldn't get drafted by them. He mm-hmm. did that intentionally on purpose. So then when he did, when they did draft him, he had no choice but to cut down all that weight. He did it on purpose. Yeah. But Bartley can, Bartley, to see the thing about pop, like as them two, they're, I ain't going to lie. Equally, they're both like here. But the only thing Bartley had over him, Bartley can shoot a three, three point yeah. range. Yeah. But Bartley Malone had that athletic yeah. big man size. Carl Malone's mid range was money. Yeah. Oh yeah, he had a oh he that's had a what, mean mid range. Yeah, but that's like, why Bartley can shoot <clears throat> anywhere. Bartley can pull up from anywhere. Like he had a three ball. He was basically like a guard. He was a guard. He yeah. had a guard ability with a killer power forward instinct, man. So yeah. I mean, when you and got that's what I was about to, and that's what I was about to say too that the reason yeah. why the reason why Malone has so many points is because people don't understand the offense. Barkley didn't have an offense ran through him. Right. Carl Malone, Utah ran the offense through him. The pick and pop. That's where the pick and pop came the game the, came from. The pick and roll. Yeah, and the pick and roll. Yeah. So Stockton, that's yeah. why Stockton was one of the that's why Stockton yeah, had the best of shit out there because of him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And shit. The best pick and roll I didn't see. Y'all know I'm an, I was born that too. The best pick and roll I, I grew up watching personally was the Spurs with goddamn Duncan and goddamn Tony Parker. Oh yeah, I, I and I'm a big fan and I'm a huge fan of uh Spurs, definitely. But before <laughs> but before they got in there, I'm gonna be honest, before they got in there, <laughs> yeah, I love the Spurs. I'm a, I love the reason why I love the Spurs, I love their fundamental games, man. That they got the coldest fundamental games that can just beat you. Like they can they can be the super team, and they have done that in previous years. But That's they, why I like them. Like they, I don't need a super they, team. They, Spurs. When it was Tony Parker, Ginobili, Duncan, uh, what it was Danny Green, Bruce Bowen, but they built that team. They didn't go out and buy players. No, no, no. We gonna we gonna go back. We gonna go back when it was t- it was Avery Johnson, Avery Johnson, um, Stephen Jackson, Bruce Bowen was around there. They had my man Barry. They had the general. David Robinson, and I'm gonna be honest with you, David Robinson was a problem at seven foot one. Like, oh yeah, he was the one of the most athletic seven foot one that you'll ever see, straight from the army. Hey, I lost swag. all respect. I lost all respect for David Robinson. Why? He got cooked, bro. 
By who? Hakeem, Hakeem Olajuwon cooked him. Hey, when when David Robinson won that MVP, I said, "Uh oh!" When they played him in the playoffs, yeah. But listen. if you ever want to see a human popcorn machine, <laughs> go watch David Robinson against Hakeem Olajuwon. Yo, that boy it's, was jumping all around. He's was, a king, man. It, like yeah. you, there's. It's a key. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's a key. Like, what yeah. can you say? I mean, it's a key. But here's uh, the thing, though. Hakeem, no, we, we all knew Hakeem. You know, we all knew Hakeem. And, like, Hakeem does what Hakeem does, right? Right. Right. <laughs> but, no, I'm, I'm going to say this. I didn't see it coming. When he won, when, when David won MVP and they played Houston in the playoffs, I did not see the onslaught that Hakeem was going to put on David Robinson. Me either, yo. I was like, I didn't see it coming. I mean, we all knew Hakeem was a man. We knew, you know, at at, at six eleven, center ability, guard ability. I mean, like he 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 could like he could dribble, you know, mm-hmm. pull up pull up mid range jumper, all that stuff. And but I did not see that he was getting ready to just. Yeah. To, Cook David Robinson. Cook wasn't a word. They, had, they got a. <laughs> they got a bi- that man out there. I said, "Hey, they got a biography." Hey, hey Kim, we not sideline coaches. We analysts. Yep, yeah. analysts. <laughs> now they got a biography on those two teams, like the the back to back championship teams, and they had Vernon Maxwell on there talking about it. And Vernon Maxwell said, "When the when the series got ready to start." They said Akeem used to come in and laugh and talk with everybody and joke and stuff. They said he didn't say not one word to the whole team. And they said, like, he wasn't talking. He wasn't saying nothing. They thought he was sick. They thought he was sick. And then they said when 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 uh, when uh he got out on the court and he, like, kind of, like, his eyes, like they say, kind of, like, blacked out a little bit. They said, oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they said, oh, he's going to be in trouble. <laughs> no, that's, that's, a, that's a dangerous man right there, man. That's a dangerous man. Hey. So, so when they got to when they got to the finals to play Orlando, Kenny Smith was talking about it, and Kenny Smith was like, you know, they uh, they got they got, you know, the, Orlando was out there was happy to be there. They was out partying the night before, kicking it, just celebrating a day in the NBA Finals and everything. And while Houston was just sitting back, like you know, all we right, go. you know, and, and Orlando came out. And was was killing them in the first half, killing them. And when they went back to the locker room, they didn't even trip. It was like, all right, they got their rocks off. They tired now because they've been out all night long partying. They, they hype right now. And what happened in the second half? Orlando couldn't hit the broad side of a barn in the second half. Houston put the clamps down. Was like, okay, y'all had y'all fun. <laughs> the party's over. Let yep. me show you how it's gonna be done. And Orlando didn't win a game. <laughs> that, yeah, that was in ninety. Yeah, ninety five. Yeah, or yeah, ninety five. Yeah, because they was they were listen. They went to work on it, and, yeah. and I seen the document of it. Like they were showing the whole thing up, and Orlando even said it themselves. They said, "Yo, we really, we really could have beat them. Like we really should have beat them." But they minds wasn't in hold on well, what it should have been who's cup in a personal pair of 13s i need someone to sway pick me up my pair i'm losing pick, mine pick is perfect yeah pick them up Kim. i i'm 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 getting mine um uh, uh sis retrievia threw me a lob so i'm getting mine uh but pick them up Kim. uh my my thing is you get them in hand if you don't like them when you get to the house I mean, put sell them, put them on goat, put them on something like, you know, or, or, you know, keep the points. The the points is what matters, Mm -hmm. you know, because you hit on flex. So, so, you know, get them, get the points. If somebody, you know, somebody, or when you get on these lives, ask somebody if they need an eight, eight and a half. I don't know. I can't remember what size you are. I think it's an eight, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's, and then you could bless somebody with retail for shipping, but at least you get your points. So then that way, when something else comes, you got your, you still got your tier status on your points with flex. So. Right, that's that's what I did. Like my yeah. cousin wanted them, and I was like, I don't want these. Like he's like, I want them. He already paid, and I want it. Want that ten and a half? As soon as I get it today, that's getting shipped right off to Florida. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said, go ahead and get them, homie. Go ahead and get your shoes. 
And uh, you might like him in person, though, on the real. I don't you think might. they're that bad. To be honest, it's just me personally, like, I'm an OG. Like, I grew up watching Michael Jordan. I grew up on every other shoes that he played in. And those are the ones that I want because some of them at the time being, mom couldn't get them for me. And then when I got a little bit older, some of them I was able to get through paper route. But it was some of them I couldn't get. So now that mm -hmm. I'm old enough and I'm making the money that I'm making, I can go ahead, but like, all, right, all right, I'm gonna get this pair. All right, I'm gonna get that pair. I want to, that's how I do. Right. I got the OGs, and now if it's to my liking, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna want it. But if it's not to my liking, and other people like it, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get it for oh, them, okay. and just keep my yeah, and just keep and just keep my points right. up. Right. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh no, go ahead. Go no, ahead. I had a question for uh, Amier, but go ahead and say something first. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna tell Kim. Hey, Mike, no. Oh, I know. Mike muted. Oh, my mic muted. No, nah, his it, no, um, Mayor's mic muted. Oh, no, nah, I was gonna say Kim also too. I know you don't do a lot of reach, you don't do reach backs at all. But if, if there's something that you want, like the vote goals, like we were talking about the vote goals and the Tokyos, this could be something that you can dump off on GOAT. And then whatever the difference is, uh, if there is any difference, I don't know, depending on your size. I mean, that this could be an opportunity to 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 get your vote goals from uh GOAT or so just something to keep in mind. If you yeah. got an extra pair, yep, it is absolutely East true. It's gonna stop time. worrying about my mic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 sad. it's sad beauty, so that's why I was like, I ain't know what's going on. I'm the air. Um, mm -hmm. do you know right now because I'm like, I'm on finish line and I'm on foot locker and I don't see any cubes. Like, we got seven mean, minutes, you just, would be up right now. It's just straight up like the link to the product page that uh soul links had tweeted out it's just on the product page where it says this, this product is no longer available so they might not do a keep because it's i said seven minutes out yeah because what i'm seeing on fit on Foot Locker, it just says probably will be available in six minutes and yeah. then uh so with, um, with foot with Foot Locker, they probably going to do like they did with the University Blues. The queue ain't going to pop up until the product actually drops, and then they'll throw you in the queue. So you got to refresh, and then... Yeah. Yeah, and then on finish line, I don't have a queue at all. It just It's sitting on the, the release page, but, of course, you can't click on anything. Right. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, when, I, when Yeezy's... Um, damn. When Yeezy uh, 380s, I went through without a queue on that release, so... I mean, you know it's online on you know it's online only, so they probably gotta add as a pair, so it's probably just gonna be, you know. Yeah, because they're not um they're not gonna ship any of the initial pairs to the store. They're just gonna sell them off from the warehouse and then whatever restock stuff that's what goes to the store. Yep, so if you want these shits, you better get them and get them online today. <laughs> they ain't and to Kim. And Kim, also too, when you go pick up your uh your shoes from the from Foot Locker or Champs or whatever, uh, get you a gift card, get your online gift card, double points, double points. So just something to keep in consideration too. So that that helps out too. So you just go buy you on go online to the app, buy you a, a gift card and just pay with that. So now you get points for buying a gift card and you get points for picking up the shoe too. So, so how, how many points does Flex give you? I uh, say, okay, retail is one ninety, probably about two hundred dollars. How many points is that with Flex? Nineteen thousand, I think. Oh, what? Nineteen thousand, I think so. I don't even know. I lost track, but I know uh, Finish Line gives you uh, ten points on the dollar. So every for every dollar you spend, you get ten points. I don't know. I can't remember exactly how Flex does this. I'm finna go buy. 20 pair Air Force Ones and get my flex to come up there. <laughs> and then resell them on stock hits. Hold on, I can tell you right now. So, <sighs> shit. Quick. All right, so we got four minutes. Yeah, so, so D. Yeah. Uh, so like this is a shoe on Foot Locker that cost 150 bucks, right? right? Uh, that shoe that shoe gives you 15,000 points, okay? Bet. So, but that's why I said if you go buy a gift card, you get the points for the gift card for that amount, 
And then when you go pay for the shoes with the gift card, you get the points for the transaction too. Oh, uh, nice. Right. So- Folks ain't tell me nothing. What's man? You supposed to be the Flash King, man. Why you ain't tell me that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying it. So I've been, 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 been saying that. Where you been at, man? I've been saying that, bro. So today, when I buy, when I pick up my 13s from Foot Locker, buy a gift card and it's double points. Yes, yeah. buy a gift card online on the app and get it sent to your email. So that way, that way, it's it goes to your email instantly, right? And then when you go get ready to check out, just pull it up in your email and give them the barcode and they let them scan your card first, your flex card or your QR code, let mm-hmm. them scan the QR code. And then when they give you the total amount, pull the email up and let them scan the barcode of the gift card and pay like that. And then you get double points. Gotcha. But <laughs> so basically, you're basically, basically paying for the shoes with the damn gift card. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Uh, so I need to get a two hundred dollar or something gift card. But... Yep. So we got three minutes. Three minutes. Look at uh, he's smart. He's dropping jewels. <laughs> he, he's dropping jewels. Oh, I, I didn't have to do all that. I just been was hitting each time. Of yeah. And they merged it in, so that just my points just went dramatically up. Like yeah, and I and I. I ain't gonna lie, mine was kind of a different way too, but but yeah, yeah we ain't gonna discuss that. Man, finish line, I got a Q, y'all. So. <laughs> it's I a Q now. The, I think that that was the word, like to me personally. If you're like a reseller or people who, or like a person yep. who just folks pay you to go pick up their pairs or whatever, I think that was like the best thing for me because I had a lot of platinum statuses on Foot Foot Locker Foot Action. And champs, and then when they merged it in, it was just like, Oh, we're gonna stop this, uh, try to stop this reselling and all this other stuff. I'm like, Uh, thank you, you just actually just helped me to constantly get multiple pairs even easier now because I got high quality points and I can just bang, 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 bang on each and every one of them. And, that, right. and that's how it was. They're talking about on flex, you weren't supposed to hit on multiple stores and smash. <laughs> Man, I was hitting in every. I was hitting in every store. Yeah, you got people that hit at champs. Put like mm-hmm. all of them. Well, now yeah. I don't even hit at champs no more. They they won't even let me hit at champs. But they hit they, but like they let me hit that foot action and Foot Locker constantly. Champs, it seemed like over here on our end, champs, they don't they ain't been getting stuff like that anymore, man. There was one point last year where I was hitting on every store. At one point, there was one point, right. like like third quarter somewhere of last year, uh, into the into the fourth quarter, I was hitting like on every single store, uh, Foot Locker, Baby Kids Foot Locker, Finish Line, Champs. I and then I hit on Foot Action. I was like, what Foot Action? <laughs> 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 really? I hit on Foot Action. I never would hit on Foot Action, and I was and I was making for for busy Saturdays. But now I don't hit on Flex at Oh, I can't hit nothing on flex. Oh, Back in the day, boy, I used to always hit on flex, bro. Mm-hmm. Same here. I'm I'm constantly hitting. Like it, it never fails on my flex account, man. Nine never. o'clock, y'all. Nine o'clock. When when, it, when they switched over, it was game over, bro. And just like Amir said, Foot Locker went right to a queue. As soon as you uh refreshed, it went right to a queue. All right, y'all. Is up. Yeah, I ain't doing, oh yeah, I'm not doing no I'm good. I already got my pair secure, so I'm about to go pick them up later. I'm just here to just help you guys on the chat. Be like, hey, we can give you knowledge and everything. Ooh. But if someone does need me need me to go for one, I wouldn't mind going for one and ship it all to you. Well, Sam, I'm just here so I don't get fined. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Oh, make sure I pick my dag on size. There it is. That's my size. Cool, cool, cool. And, and I would have had more pairs today, but DTLR they didn't get they 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 didn't get the men shipping it. So the, the late shipping is still going on. So champs didn't get them, and foot action didn't get them in certain stores. So the other ones they were too far away. I was like, dude, I'm not doing that drive. If I do that drive, you're paying me three hundred. Like, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Got to do it. Yeah, gotta do what you gotta yeah, do. You got to pay that three hundred, bro. Cause I, Mm-mm. I bet you you do, Kim. 
she said she loved Flex Bay. Right. Flex, yo, Flex be coming through, man. Like, okay. I wish the Travis up. Scott's was on Flex, though. Like, in our store, I probably would have definitely won one. Can't be like, girl, Flex. <laughs> <laughs> I got one coming in now to do the video. Uh, Miracle. Anybody need Miracle to go for their size? I guess I gotta close out the app because uh Nika's on that BS right now. I think it think it's quiet, you know. Man, how the hell DTLR is sold up? They always do. Bro, they always yeah. cook at ten, like exactly ten o'clock. It's it's not even it's pointless, bro. I honestly think that a lot of you know when DTR DTLR do like they online raffle. I ain't never seen nobody win on it, but uh, the people that win on it, I think that's where the stock majority, the stock kind of like Hibbit when Hibbit give you that option to uh the enter in on online raffle. Right. I think a lot of those pairs be uh that's where a lot of those pairs come from. I could be wrong, but I could be right. So you know, finish now. You know, you can do the Apple Pay shit. Yeah. Mm hmm. Don't give me the ring of death, boy. You can do Apple Pay at Flex too. Um, hey Kim, right now on Goat, your size eight is two thirty eight. So that's what almost a hundred bucks. Not not counting the fees. So if you sell on Goat, you make like what, like seventy five bucks or something like that i mean 75 bucks but like he said you know there's a probably there's probably a shoe on there that you can sell on flex and you don't have to cash out not sell on flex but sell on goat you ain't got to cash out right away you just keep that money on goat and use it towards another shoe Debating if I want to go and and put in for a kid size. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm putting for a kid size. See what happened. Oh, Bonnie got through on there. What's called? Say what? I got through on, on JD Sports. Oh, for real? Yeah. JD. Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean Sport. Oh, I clicked off of it. Fuck. <laughs> what the... Oh, what you doing over there, man? Hey, is is your is the uh is your finish line and JD still the same login? Yeah, yeah, it is. Man, you almost hit me you almost made me hit you with that tan towel. What you doing over there, man? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man. Skinny <laughs> man. Sure. Tell, you over there messing up over there, man. T- tell me this tape fell out your pocket, skinny man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, skinny man. Hey, who was that? That was Jamie Foxx that said he played the same role in every movie. Come on. Come on, <laughs> Come on I and man. <laughs> 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 Iron Mike. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Tonette, what's up? You in the house? What's up, Tonette? No, you was in the house. What's up? Royalty. Royalty. Man. Mix say I don't know how much longer I could do it was draw. Yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. It's whack. It's whack, man. Well, y'all see, y'all see what sneakers drawed and did to my brother down there. He don't even want to put show his face, but he said he done. He said he done. That bad. You look, you look at him. Look at it. All he do is put that picture up there for you to see that picture of him just to let you know he done. <laughs> Ain't that right, Ami? 
he don't even want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 oh yeah, Mirk, yeah, he 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 definitely said he done, bro. He definitely, yeah, he was hot. Hey y'all, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much at the point where, like, after this, after these last two weeks, man, oh, you got it. Go I'm through, like, I'm not. Sports. Nice hit. You got on JD. Oh. I'm gonna go back in and get another one. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm in uh I'm in uh watch calm right now. I'm in uh finish line right now. I'm still in the queue on both. In finish line, dog. You think bro, when you get through the queue, you can go right back in for these. I guess so. Hey, who who need a size, bro? I'm good. Look, I'm back um, in. You think these gonna go crazy next week? Just got through the queue on Snipes, and they're all gone. <laughs> that fast? That fast. I just got through the queue, and it's all gone. I think these. I think these is gonna be uh These these, these might be a low key sellout real quick. Real quick. Dang. Man, See I'm. I can really, I can really cook on these shits, but I said, nah. I got my twelve on finish line, so I'm, I'm good. Oh, for real? Yep. Yeah. I got you. And then guess what, bro? I I know y'all have said it in the chat numerous times, but I just y'all y'all were um y'all used to help me out. It's best to go mobile, bro. Like that app is trash. You won't never get through that. Nah, I'm, no, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm on desktop too. I'm on both. <laughs> <laughs> get inside and get out the way. Yeah, I'm. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm good. Only I ain't got the nobody queue yet, except for Snipes, and it was gone. Oh wait, I'm on. J whoa, whoa, hold on. JD just popped up. Let me see. Let me see what's popping. All right, at the basket. What we doing? What we doing, JD? What are you finna do? Don't put my emotions, JD Sports. <sighs> One or more items in your cart are no longer available. Y'all some a holes. Uh, yeah. Dick Sporting good getting them. They probably like, they probably are. Sure. Oh yeah, they uh. To see, yeah. But see, sometimes folks be sleeping on dicks, and I be in there. Whoa, 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 it would be sleeping on this. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Yo, I had to really pause on that one. Oh, wait a minute, pause, 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 bro. Oh boy, yo, yo, yo. Wait a minute. Hey, I was like, wait a minute. You gotta make sure you hit the brakes on that joint. Wait a yeah, minute. What? <laughs> All right, got a grade school off finish line. Hey, you still in the finish line? I can't get yeah. that mug. Man, I was I was cooking on there. Hey, you want me to see if I can order another size 12? Because I ordered <laughs> the first one not on my account. <laughs> yeah, run the bag up. Mm. Run it up, run it up, run it up. Oh, damn, I forgot about sneakers, bro. Watch I fucking hit over there, too. That's good shit. That'll be the day, right? Right. Yeah. Thank you for your order. Oh, I appreciate you finish line. I didn't even end it, bro. <laughs> man, I'm trying to get these damn uh, new belts. I'm going to down in my size. Like, how? They made the order. Yeah, the draw is closed. I ain't even bothered going. I'm like, I ain't <laughs> I tried to get whatever size on JD. And it was like, nah, you can't get it now. After I had to hit the payment button, place order button. I got both my order numbers. I'm good. Oh, my God. 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 O
my goodness. Yeah, I just got mine too. I do want these rust ones though. Look, Jay, you said five right now. Man. I just hit on sneakers. You hit on sneaker? What? It's about freaking time. <laughs> That's what's up, bro. Congrats. I hope you I hope you took the size of my for. Dang, it's about time, man. After okay. all the airs, we finally blessed. Good. 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 It I is wouldn't about freaking time. No, Wait, no, no, no. Was grade school. which one was his first? Congrats, bro. Watch it be the grade school one. You can be mad as hell. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's better than none, oh, man. Yeah. It was mine. It was my size. It was my size. Hey, there you go. D- Dante. You go. Did you see the bull snap back on um on JD Sports and finish line? That uh-huh. matched the red flints. Oh my! It was that. It was that lit like that. That joint hey, dope. They got a New day, York one and a bull. Hey, my day finna be strizzate. Man, finish line. Looked out for the kid. Man, and I picked next day. <laughs> so I need, I need my joints on Monday. Oh, he paying that. He paid that, that extra fifteen dollars, man. Yeah, I did. I did. Man, no, no. Let's, let's big screen it because this is a moment. <laughs> I don't get this moment. I don't get this moment often. Got him, man. Man, man, man. Oh, my, my, my bad. I'm behind the comments. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, man, y'all. <laughs> oh, Damn. Shoot. It looked like uh, finish line selling out. JD Sports still got a lot. I, they still got a lot of sizes. I got them. Got them. Yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, got them. That's what's up. That's what's up. Congrats, brother. Appreciate it. Need a limp, 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 limp. Oh no, you on your own. Oh, where am I? Where else am I at? Uh, cues. Damn, that shit go, go, go. <laughs> man, I double, I'm a double up on these shits. Fuck it. Oh, my cousin got a pair. He's like, got him, hey, got him. Yeah. <laughs> I just got through the uh on the Foot Locker queue. Up, up, out of stock. Finish, out of stock. finish line. JD Sports sold out. Out of stock. Out of stock. <laughs> Dang, Flex. That sucks to get through the queue, only to have to play that daggone at the cart game. Yeah. You have sold out. Oh, cool. man. I, I had $10 status cash. Whoa. Hey, I used mine. You tripping. <laughs> Boy, like, yeah, you tripping, dog. Hey, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call. Like, hey, yo. Appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. It man. wasn't for my size. I was actually going for somebody, so it wasn't. It wasn't my size. So, cause, cause Retravia, cause sis looked out. Sis, one of them D Wade lobs where she threw it up and just went like this. Yeah. And then D Wade lob, right? And she just threw it up and just did this, and I just, I just end up finishing that bad boy. So I appreciate. <laughs> So I appreciate you, Retrievia, for looking out for your boy. JD Sports sold out, y'all. Delonte West is back on his feet. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Man, I'm mad now. I got two pairs, bro. He look. He definitely looks much better than he did. When what are you he mad for? You went for two pair. Yeah. No, I <laughs> I got one at I got one at Foot Locker. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. So K. Went for our size twelve also, <laughs> and and she hit I think. And she hit, yeah, <laughs> damn. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, she did. Hey, yeah, damn. Hey, double double up a fresh. Hold on. Um, she said, "Let's hope Amir still needs his pair because I can't sit on a pair of sneakers." I just said Amir hit too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, she hit on the twelve. Hold on, let me let me see who needs. Let me see who needs on my end. I mean, I'm doing that too. Yeah, I got 
gonna try to sell them for. I might have some people around here. Yeah, who that's what I said. I'm doing the same thing. <clears throat> Appreciate you, sis. Hey, uh, Swagoo. Uh huh. I'm going to pick up a personal pack because you know I got a review to do. Uh huh. But, you know, resale and you know, on on these and hit. So if I'm do if I um I doubled up on the flat, do you think these are worth a double up? No. Mm. <laughs> I, I, no, I, no, the reason why is because, bro, my motto, I'm going to go by my motto. My motto hey, is OGs and double up. Hey, we all picking up our pairs a day. Yeah. We're getting delivered. Oh, oh, OGs, OGs to me are worth a double up. OGs are. Yeah, I, I don't are. think. Yes. Yeah. These, these, I don't think no. so. Now, it's now, just, if you are a 13 silhouette, like if you love 13s and yeah, you're yeah. like, man, I love this, I, I love the 3M on this, and the, yeah, I say do it. But see, 13s is a, I, I like 13s, but it's not my top favorite silhouette. So you know what I'm saying? So like the like the sixes is one of my top favorite silhouettes. So like DMPs, I doubled up on DMPs. Like you know, you know what I'm saying? So like that's it. that's how that's how my motto goes. Got him. There you go, Adam like, Gill. Oh, Adam. Hey, Adam. hey, I ain't worried about you, bro. Hey. Yeah, yo, at, bro, Adam, we need to talk, bro, because every time you hit me up on IG, all you hear is, got him, got him, hey, got Adam. him, like nonstop, bro. Look, I need, look I need, here. yo, you, you need to, you need to just, I'm going to just tell you, like, hey, go in there and put a size for me. If you don't want it, put one in size for me for something hot, bro, because I need look that, here. man. If you go, if you go look up in the encyclopedia and look up Adam Gill in the encyclopedia, it says regular Degla got him. Cause he that that's his that's his nickname. Look at it. I hit on two sneakers account. What you hit on two sneakers accounts? See what, what? I'm saying? Hey, I ain't gonna lie though, y'all. Congrats on the debuts, but I really think this you have a lot of stock though. It did. Yeah, that's this what it did. Take you know. Yeah, but some but some store, but like I said, some stores didn't get him though because um kicks he he on he only got his two pairs so far from on certain stores. Some of the shipments is late. Like I only got my one, and usually stuff like this, I have about about like close to 10 pairs of these, but the shipments still coming in late and whatever. So mm -hmm. hey, I, I I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I got me a new spot, so y'all notice I've been sitting in the car. So I, I went to this 5G tower that they got downtown. And I sat there. I swear to God, I got through the queue fast as hell. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, but I never, and then, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, you get through fast on JD Sport and you're doing finish line. Yeah. Yeah, J yeah, we do. I think I found out what my form, what my issue has been with sneakers. I, my my uh job, they eat Wi Fi is trash. Yep. Uh, if you got if you got trash ass Wi Fi, shit. Because because every shoe that I've been created this new account with, every shoe that I didn't hit on, I've been right here at the house. I'm telling you, uh, bro. And and my job, the building, the building that we in, like it gets bad signal, like real bad signal. So like, yeah, I think that's what it is. Let's see, me saying we're contemplating what I should wear to pick up these thirteens. Should I hit it with my Grail Air Max One Atmos? Flint blue 13s, Migs, duh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what he's going to wear to, to go pick him up? Dang, it's messed up, man. I hate getting through queues and can't pick up nothing. Hey, but real talk, man, shout out to a fresh, man. I, I'm, I'm happy, man, that you finally got a W, bro, for real. I'm happy I got a W, and I'm happiest on my favorite silhouette. Oh, your favorite silhouette is 13. I forgot about yeah. that. Me, me and Amir, our, that's our favorite silhouettes. Favorite 13 that you got game. Yeah. Instead of dropping these, I, I like 13s too. And he dropped the damn playoff and stopped playing with it. Yeah, now I need, now I need the Carolina ones that come out later this year. They got Carolina 13 dropping? Yep. That's a must cop. Yep, they navy blue, white, and Carolina blue. Obsidian. Yeah, I mean, I got, I pretty much got every 13 set of playoff. <clears throat> yeah. The one with the little circle around the jump, man. Thank you, sir. Did you leave? You're already back. You got what she wanted already? How much she said? Trying to get a commercial. 
Yeah, man. That's what's up, everybody. That is what's up. So, yeah. I guess everybody got what they wanted. Congrats to everybody in the chat. Congrats to everybody in the chat. TJ, what up, girl? Talks with TJ. How you doing, fam? You doing all right? Did you did you get them? Were you going for them? Were you going for them or did you get them? That's two questions we have for you. Talks with TJ. What's up? Why don't you stick around for a second, too? Everybody, everybody uh, we doing three rounds, five dollar cards, jump a hey, fire Dante, mode. Dante, real quick. Big yeah. Juice, if you don't stop texting and fucking driving, <laughs> get that phone down, boy. <laughs> hmm. My mama. <laughs> 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 hey, yeah. hey, he did it. At least he could have. I mean, if he was gonna do that, at least he could cut your camera off. So, <laughs> Come on. oh, bro, man, D, D, bro, I love you, bro. That's what's up, TJ. That's what's up. Gotta make sure he don't hurt himself on the live stream. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Oh, right. y'all are crazy. So uh, now that um, I'm happy, I got I got mine. Uh, I need to go ahead and do a gray. Either do a gray and red, or should I do a white gray and red tea? Should it be a stay fresh tea? Should it be my fresh tea, or should I do the wings? Bro, I I like the. I like the fresh culture shirt that you've been doing, like the little four, the little twelve dollar hollows, the, know, arch. the arch. But I would like a gray one with the red, like a gray one with the red yeah. writing. All right. So you, so Dante, you know how to, of course, you know how to the tongue logo on the the playoff thirteens look, right? What if you could mimic that logo with your Stay Fresh brand to make it, mm. you know, look, look similar like the. The Jordan 13 logo. You mean the the, the circle uh -huh. with the jump man in the middle? Yeah. Let's see if I can figure that out. <laughs> Let's see if I can figure that out. It's oh, gonna take some brainstorming, but it definitely will. But uh definitely will. TJ getting love. TJ, I don't know if um how long you can stick around, but I'm about to give away some coffee. Anytime I do a live cop, I give away some coffee. Jess, what up? How you doing? Did you hit this morning? Did you go for him? Did you hit? Let me know. That's who I, that's who I hit for. Oh, you hit for Jess? Mm -hmm. oh, Jess hit then. That's what's up. All right, do me a favor, y'all. In the uh, out to you, girl. Comments, put the fire emoji in the comment if y'all want some coffee. We're doing three rounds, $5 Starbucks gift cards. All right? Three rounds. So, Jess, just letting you know. That when I go live, which is not very often, but when I do live cops, I give away coffee at the end of the live cop. Yes, he does. So it's beneficial to join the kick squad of Fresh Culture live cops in the mornings. Um, so go ahead and uh, drop your fire emoji if you need some Starbucks. All right. Y'all go ahead and do that. She says, Swaggo is my hero. <laughs> That's what we do. We look out for each other. That's what we do. She retrieve you my hero. She threw me the lob. So hey, it was only right that I get a love back. That's what we do. We spread the wealth around here. Yeah, man. All right, let's see here. Let's see who I got in here. That sounds like a video game. All right, All right, GT. Right, Geek Squad TV, man. Y'all run them emojis up, man. Run them up. Run them up. Run them up. 
Uh, Nigs in the house. Uh, Wizard Magic is in the house. Let's see here. Low key, when I hit, man, I feel like playing. It's been a long, long time coming, <laughs> but I know change man, gonna come. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro. Hey, Ami, does this, does this take away some of the pain from uh from this week? Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, bro! All right, chat. I'm doing a uh, is me <clears throat> pick up. So comment down below. What should I wear today, man? Or the flints? Well, being that these are flints that uh that you're picking up. I say go ahead and uh, wear the flints. I would say he got game all day, but go ahead and wear the flints because you're doing the flint thing. Gotcha. That's my opinion. Because I, I, I was thinking about wearing them. I was like, dang, let me go ahead and wear the flints, man. I was like, I haven't worn them in a while. I think the last time I wore them was like last year and only twice. And that was it. <laughs> Just got my confirmation from sneakers. See here, make sure I got everybody. Uh, so Tisha's still here, or she gone? Uh, all right, who can say Huffman 13 still DS? So I want my one. I ain't wearing nothing today, bro. It's raining like bad over here in Houston. Yeah, yeah, I heard y'all got like a flood warning or something. Out yeah, there. I had to go check on my daughter. She got she lives in San Antonio, so I got yeah. I was like, what flood warning? I said, whoa, 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 hold on. Got mix. All right, Wizard Magic. I got you. I got BZ. I got King ABC. All right, GT. I say I got GT right. Yeah, GT's in there. All right, not a lot of people. All right. Um, all right, so everybody who put their fire emoji in there, I got y'all on my wheel. So we're doing three five dollar Starbucks cups of coffee. All right. Oh, Jesse, what's up, man? You up in the in the house? What up, bro? What up, what up? I gave my stepdad my flints. Oh, snap. Uh -huh. That's what's up, man. All right, uh, Jesse, go ahead, man. If, if you want me to put your name on the wheel for some coffee, put a fire emoji in there. If you don't drink coffee, don't, you know, you don't have to. But uh, I'll give you a second before I spin this wheel. Use it like to drink. Jeezy like the smart. That's what I thought it was at first. I mean, when we saw that, I said Jeezy. I was like, I thought it was Jeezy right quick. I'm saying Jeezy yes, in the building. Y'all go ahead and follow Jeezy too. If y'all don't follow him on uh on um YouTube, he picks up hats uh, and sneakers. I think Funkos too, right? I right, got you down. All right, cool. I got y'all in there. I'm about to shuffle and go ahead and spin this wheel. Uh, like I said, we're doing three of them. All right, whoever wins, their name comes off the wheel, and I keep on spinning. So let me go ahead and go on the big screen real quick. All right, y'all see it? I'm a variety channel at this point. <laughs> hmm. Miracle? Uh, Jumpman? Jumpman E? Jumpman E? Jump 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 e. J.E. All right. All right, Eric, you know the rules. 
If you are here, you know the rules. I can't be biased because you're my guy. <laughs> you got to respond in 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Let Timer me know. starts here. now. 60 seconds, E. Are you at E? Come on, Craig. Get up, Craig. Get up, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> timer is going. I started my timer a little bit late, but it's going. Ooh, these socks are kind of dope. What could I wear with these socks? Yeah, I like these socks. Where you at, E? We got 19 seconds, E. Come on, E. You supposed to be on this, E. You can't jump, E. You can't jump in and put the fire emoji and leave. And then leave. Like, come on, that boy fell asleep. I love you, E, but I got to be to everybody else. Come on, E. Oh. Oh. Dang, E. Uh, Dang. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to spin again. I got to be fair, right? I know that's my guy, but I got to be fair. If I do it to everybody else, I got to do it to Eric, right? Right. right. You know if I'm fair or not. I don't want to be mean. Is it Mike yeah. Disney? Oh, there you go right there. He just came in. Oh. Uh, right. <laughs> Wait, dude. What should we do? Should we give it to him? Who else want Disney? Disney just hit. Disney just hit. So, Disney. I'm pretty sure I got email, but uh, email me. All right, email me. Not email, but uh, DM me your email. If I have it, just do it in there just for me. All right. Okay, here we go again. We uh, shuffle that. Boom, boom, boom. Jess. Oh, Beezy. Is it Beezy or Jess? Beezy. 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 Yeah. Beezy with the Maxes. Beezy. Beezy. All right, Beezy. Beezy. All right. So, Disney responded. Uh, Beezy's in here. I know you're in here, but you got to respond, bro. Say something. Say something. I know you're here because I know you ain't left yet, but still, say something. <laughs> John Mesa and I got no coffee at home. There you go. All right. All right. We're going to do one more. Uh, Disney said, go ahead and give Eric the coffee. Uh, but I'm going to do one more anyway. So, uh, let's, let's throw another one in there. Do three. And uh, all right, business. That's what's up. DM me your email. I'm pretty sure I have it because you rocked with me. But uh, send me that. Send me that. All right. So so far we got what? We had Disney. We had Beezy. Right. Okay. And oh, wait. No, I didn't hit the shuffle. I didn't shuffle. Hold on. My bad, y'all. <laughs> I need coffee in every direction. <laughs> Shots in every direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, hold on. I had to shuffle this thing. All right. All right, third cup of coffee. 
I'm pulling for you, Migs. I'm pulling for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Migs was the first ever winner. Jess, oh. Come on, Migs. Oh. Come on, Migs. <laughs> Come on, Migs. Come on, Migs. Ah, dang. <laughs> Dang, it was I, almost on mixed. <laughs> GT from AG, you were on the clock. You were on the clock. 60 seconds. GT AG has 60 seconds. You were on the clock. <laughs> Mix is shooting. <laughs> boy, get hot. Boy, oh, every time. GT is in. There you go. GT, DM me on my IG. Give me your uh, email. And uh, you got five bucks Starbucks coming to you. Um, Disney got five bucks Starbucks coming to you. And Soda Busy with the Maxes got five bucks Starbucks coming to you. All right. Dang. All right. We got some people jumping in here that I ain't seen before. Uh, Sabinator. What's up, man? Got a cop the size 12. Got a transaction decline. That's whack. Oh, dang. Dang. Whack. Well, dang. You saved your money, so that's cool. They probably hit you with that uh that fraud protection. Brandon Underhill, did you cop them? Uh, Yeah, we got some W's in here. If you're still in here, yeah, we got some W's. Uh, Swagu got up Ali Ub W. Um, Amir hit on finish line. East uh, East Coast got a pair from somebody else, right? Or you hit you hit yesterday, right? Yeah, I hit on a, um, you hit flex. Um, I hit here on sneakers, and D got Juice who was here earlier. Hit on JD Sports. Everybody, yeah. everybody, got everybody cook, man. Everybody cook. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's lovely, lovely. So. Congrats to everybody. Um, make sure, GT, make sure you DM me on my IG, A Fresh Culture. DM me your uh, email, and um, I'll shoot that over to you. Get your, get your drink for your lift ride, and, um, and we good, man. So let's hit some outros real quick, and we're going to let everybody get on with their day. We're going to start off with Swag Lito's Way. What's good, everybody, man? Congratulations on the W's. Um, shout out to Fresh for jumping on this morning on the live, man. Appreciate you, man, as always. Um, hey, um, don't stop here, man. It's May, May 1st. So we got more sneakers dropping. Y'all stay tuned to Kick Squad TV. Make sure y'all subscribe to everybody's channel. Make sure y'all follow everybody on IG and Twitter. Follow me on IG and Twitter at swagoo underscore 318. And yeah, we out, man. Stay fresh and have a good weekend. Peace. Yeah. What up, what up, what up, peeps? Uh, congrats to everybody in chat that took W's on these flints. Um, also, if you went for those new balances, the mystery box joints, um, and got a W, congrats on that as well. That's pretty much all I got. Um but as always, man, make sure y'all paying attention to your apps and stuff like that for anything, anything random that may happen. Make sure you're paying attention to your Twitter and stuff like that. But with that being said, man, I hope y'all stay safe, be blessed, and we'll catch y'all tomorrow on my Kick Sick channel. Word. What's going on, everybody in the chat, man? Hey, Fresh, thanks for bringing me back on here, man. Hey, as always. Always love when we on here to my Kick Squad family. Make sure y'all, like you said, pay attention to you guys' apps, man, because I'm telling you, the ones, they are coming. I'm going to be honest with you. They are coming. And next week, you got the Rust Ones. You got the... Um, the Flint Sevens. Yeah, Flint Sevens. And you also got the Jordan Low 11s, mm -hmm. Legend Blue. So... Be on the watch. Be on the watch out for that as well. And uh, congrats on the W's as well too, man. Everybody, today was a cook day today, so it was all good. I love it. So we'll talk to you guys.
tomorrow. That's what's up. Um, appreciate y'all big time for rolling through. Uh, hanging with us. Big game, James. Done, bro. I got you. Um, congrats to everybody who got their W's here and in the chat. Everything that was this big stuff, man. It's it's nice to get on here and, and see a lot of people getting, you know, what they want and everything. Uh, Kim, sell your shoes, go pick them up, sell them, get rid of them. If you need help, let us know. I'll hit my people up to see if anybody needs a size eight and um and help you out if I can. But uh go ahead and sell them joints if you can't, if you don't want to keep them. Um, but yeah, look out for yeah, man, I'm gonna have to go ahead and make a shirt. I'm I'm happy about the sneakers W. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, like Swaggo said. But uh, look out for that. But twelve dollars, twelve dollar tees on my website right now. I have five twelve dollar tees up on my website right now. Four unisex. One is a ladies crop top, um, but it's more geared towards my Chicago girls. Uh, so if you're from the shy, you live somewhere else. And you from the shy or whatever, that tea is for you. Um, but look out for more and uh, sign up for my newsletter on freshculture.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Follow me on Instagram as well so you can be up on when I'm dropping new clothing. Um, doing some pretty dope stuff coming this month because I have a, my very first fashion show that I'm going to be participating in at the end of the month. So I got to put out some uh, pretty fresh stuff. So y'all be on the lookout for that. Uh, streetwear brand, Dipped in Favor. Y'all don't know who I am if you y'all first time coming in. A couple of new people on my live. So, yeah, man, that's about it right now. Much love to everybody. And um, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Saturday. And the Kick Squad is out.